Webcam 9000 here. Uh, today I want to I wanna just sort of quickly say hello again to all of you. Um, I have been neglecting my channel very much over the past few months and you all deserve to know why I'm doing that. Um, I am 17, about to become 18 on Wednesday the 2nd of June. Um, and as you obviously know, if unless you're in America, in which case you may not know, uh, if you are 17 slash 18, you are doing um, your A-levels, uh, which is what I am currently in the process of doing. Uh, I have been doing um, like music and music technology and business, and I've been doing coursework and exams and revision for exams and, and everything. I would have loved to have um, done a lot more videos than I have been doing. Um, I haven't actually done any of the videos I promised I would do. I'm actually in the works of doing them, though. I'm hopefully going to be able to do the... Um, unless you won soon, uh, and possibly like the review of the um, M-Audio keyboard, unless I've already posted that, but I, I've, I've genuinely forgotten. Um, but I wanted to apologise and, and basically say that I, I, there's, there is a lot on at the moment, and you've, you've just got to give me some time, and I will get back to Webcam 9000 as soon as possible. Um, but it's just a bit tricky at the moment, obviously, with schoolwork and exams and everything like that. Why am I slanted? I shouldn't be slanted. Um, but today I, I, I thought that I would first of all clear that up and just say that it's a bit tough at the moment just to like make videos and, and post them because of all the stuff I'm, I'm doing. Um, but also I wanted to very quickly talk about WWDC that's coming up on the 7th of June. Um, that is going to be a fairly big event and I also like to share my views and opinions on it, of course, being me. Um, and the main thing that's got to be announced, if it isn't announced, then I don't know, uh, it'll baffle me. Um, the iPhone 4G or the iPhone HD, whatever you want to call it, should be announced. Uh, as you probably are all very, very aware, um, Apple lost one of their prototype, uh, actually two of their prototype um, iPhone HDs or 4Gs or whatever you want to call them. Um, very recently, and Gizmodo was uh, first on the scene to get it, and you could, I'll put a picture sort of to the side of me um, in a moment, and just uh, say have a look at through some of the pictures. But it's it's it looks really really good. Uh, that's my honest opinion on it. I mean, this is the iPhone 3G. It's rounded back. It's got black. Um, it's a black back or a white back. But actually, uh, it looks like the iPhone HD. I'm going to refer to it as iPhone HD. I think it sounds better. But actually, I personally think they should just go back to iPhone. And just leave it at iPhone. Um, the i the iPhone HD is probably going to have like a black back. It's got like a black uh, brushed metal back to it. Uh, but there have actually been um, designs of a white uh, one coming as well, as well as the black one, which look pretty neat as well, I must say. Um, and it, it's obviously going to be running uh, iPhone software uh, four point or just four iPhone software four, um, which is another thing that's definitely going to be you know a, a big. Thing. They've been doing uh, like uh, betas and whatnot, and launching builds uh, and and to stuff to developers to mess about with. It's multitasking and everything like that. You all know it, but I just want to sort of recap it. Um, but the iPhone is definitely going to come. You know, there's no ifs or buts about it. But I must say, I I think Steve Jobs must be desperately irritated that his uh, you know precious mysterious veil of fortune has has been lifted on this new device because it must have been something that he was hide, keeping safe and secret for a reason and they don't normally do this so you know it must have been a genuine mistake and but they are up in arms about it I can I can imagine um, but yeah that is definitely coming it has to and I'm actually hoping that they might slightly change it I, if he doesn't mention the the leak on the internet at the WWDC I'll also be very disappointed because I want to know what his thoughts are about this um, Another thing that I think possibly could be uh, talked about are, are perhaps new Mac Pros. They need to be updated. It's been a certain amount of days. I can't remember the exact amount, but they need to be updated. They're, they're just looking to be updated. Um, I'd also like them to perhaps update the MacBook Pro a little bit more. I feel as though it's left out um, a little bit. It's it's falling behind. It's good, but it's falling behind. Um, Apple TV, apparently only that was only today that was announced that it may be... Uh, possibly updated, which is a good thing. I mean, I haven't got an Apple TV, but I like the Apple TV. I think the idea is uh, good. But they say that it might possibly run the iPhone software, which is quite cool, actually, I must admit. Uh, I think that could be a really good product if they can get their act together. Um, also, uh, very recently, actually yesterday to be exact, the 28th of May, the iPad was launched internationally. Um, 
I'm going to do a very, very quick sort of like summary of what I, I think of it. I had a hands-on with it. I went to my local app store and I messed about with it and I just because I really wanted to. Um, and my opinion of it is is first of all, it's very light. Um, I was surprised as to how light it was. A lot of people in reviews say, "Oh, it's really light," uh, when they take it out of the box, and you think, "Yeah, bah, so what? It's light." But actually, it is surprisingly light. I mean, you you can you do get a very good feel uh, if you're in an Apple store when you, with products because they're all very hands-on and everything like that. There was a massive uh, swarm of people wanting to use an iPad, but um, yeah, I, I was messing about with it, and I, and um, I'm going to stick by my original judgment. Um, excuse me. Uh, I thought that when Steve Jobs announced the iPad, I looked at it and I saw a larger iPod Touch, and I was slightly disappointed but I I can now I can see the uses of it I can see why you'd want one I can see why it, it's clever you know I was using it and it was really quite good it was intuitive it was very very good and everybody was picking it up you know there was an elderly woman next to me who was actually using one it sort of half made me laugh but um, she said oh, what does this do oh gosh uh, you know making it quite odd noises um, but it, it, it's just very good to use it it feels natural and everything you do on it is very useful um but it, it is just i i in it is a big iPod touch to me um the screen is nice the screen is a very nice size uh it's obviously you know nine inch and it, it's just it's quite good to use i'm i'm not going to deny that but do i want one no uh is the brutal honest answer if somebody were to give me one i'd be like Fantastic! I've got an iPad, but the fact of the matter is, it's not something I desperately want. I, don't, I wouldn't go out my way to buy one. If somebody would give me one, I'd be fine with that. But I don't want one. I'm just happy with this. This is this is all I need, you know. And actually, I, I will admit, it was quite odd going back from an iPad to my phone because um, I, I had texts and I was checking something, and and the, the keyboard, it, the screen was just a lot smaller. You do notice it, but I mean. What does my phone do that this iPad doesn't? I I can text on my phone. I can't text on an iPad. I'm sure that that may you know that may come. But then again, that's that's just then going to be a massive iPhone, and you can't put that in your pocket. I hate to say, if you get a call, it's going to be in your bag, and you're going to have to pick it out, and it's going to be quite difficult and tricky. I don't know. You know, it's just it's good. It's nice. It does things. It works. Uh, it's very good. It looks fancy. It looks flash. It looks everything. You know, if you if you have money and you. And you want like a luxury item around your house because it's sort of probably more family based, I would guess. You know, you have it on your coffee table or something stupid like that. And you know, you, you've got the picture slideshows, the films. Um, it's good for a luxury item, but to use on an everyday basis uh, and like replace your phone is, it, it seems a bit pointless. Um, I'm going to stick with the iPhone. Uh, I'm, I don't want an iPad, like I said. I, I think the iPad is great. But I don't want one, and that's my uh, two cents, uh, as it were, on the iPad. So yeah, that's that's I've covered a fair few things uh, in this video since you know just just me being away and everything like that. And um, I just wanted to tell you that I'm all, uh, all I am still alive, I promise. <laughs> and I'm just very tired at the moment, but I'm very uh, I'm in good spirits and. Um, not to worry, I don't doubt any of you were worrying about me, to be perfectly honest, you know, nobody ever does. Uh, <laughs> I sound like such a loner, don't I? Um, I always try and make my videos really light-hearted and everything like that, and I talk incredibly fast, I've only just noticed, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that is all from me, this video, um, and I will get back to you soon, I hope. Um, you know, and I, I'll just keep updated. I might post one on WWDC to just recap what went, what happened, and everything like that. And I, I don't know. I'll probably just hope, hope I can post a few sort of review videos. I've had set up um, the Alessi box uh, in Cubase, etc., etc., etc. Because I can't do those videos. I'm sorry, I haven't done that. Um, but yes, until next time. Bye.